Hi there, this is video is about how to draw a nose. Hopefully I'm not too bad at explaining it, but hopefully all the tips and tricks will teach you exactly everything that you need to know. We first start the triangle because that is what a nose is referred to as. Like it can't be a circle. Try to curve the corners of this triangle. Then cut it with a curved line like so. There are three main shapes that you need to know. You have this circle that cuts through this curved line. The line should cut through the circle at least a third of it. And you have a smaller circles like this, not too small. And you have this curvy slope that cuts through it. Okay, so now you cut through the middle with a line. That's the middle of your nose. This line sits between these two points. So let's create the diamond shape. So using these two points, expand them outwards to create a diamond shape. Make sure both the vertices sit on the same level between each other, making them equal. So see these two curves, they follow along this big circle. So, so basically, a line sits in between these circles and moves out while following the curvature of the big circle, meeting down to the middle of the nose. So follow along. Careful not to make it too narrow. On this nose, both sides must be symmetrical, including the curves we just did now. Okay, now we're going to do the, not the nostrils. So they kind of follow along this curve. So press dark, more compression, and then let go of the paper slightly more. Same for this side, follow on this curve, but not on it, like a bit close to it though. Don't overlap this circle, this circle we still need. Just follow along it. So it's like a guideline. And follow along this as well. It's all guidelines for you. Press, you know, more harder onto the page and then let go ever so slightly. And that's your nostrils. I know this looks weird right now, but it gets better later. This whole part that we cut off, it's all dark. It's all lightly shaded, so lightly touch Lightly touch the page. You can even cross hatch and you go the opposite direction, but lightly, so you don't want to make it too dark. So now these bits, depends on your light source, but for this light source, the shadow shape, it's shaded. So lightly shade. And you can lightly shade this as well, but it's not really needed because the light source is kind of hitting onto here. This is left out light. And so remember what we did with the eye? Where was it? No, 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 here. Remember how we left out this bit? So th there's a point of the nose that we did before. Here, that point is here. So this bit is where the eyes start forming and developing. And for this light source, that's also kind of bright as well, but could lightly shade, depends on, dep I don't really have a reference image, so, but I think it would usually be a bit more darker, like in this photo, you can kind of see, it's kind of dark around here, because slowly evolving into that forehead shape. And it's not always like, it's not like pointy and all that kind of stuff. You, you always have to like transition it into, like see, it's, it's very subtle around here. This bit, is this bit. And this bit is like the bottom of the nose. To try to show you more of a visual kind of demonstration. So I'm gonna start a new page. This nose, so it's like that. I identify the circles of the shapes. So that's a shape, that's a shape diamond. I mean, we obviously create these as well that slightly touch this, these circles. Shadow kind of cuts off around here. So we cut off here and shade. So cut off here, slightly shade. So now the circle is kind of cut off. Circles as well, so they kind of cut off as well. And then we had this slight diamond. And you can see it's lightly shaded. It's not too, it's not really noticeable like I did back here. In this photo, it's more light, and that's how it usually is. But say the light source is coming from here, this 
this area will be more darker because that contrast, you know. Now we, we follow the shape. I forgot to mention, the bottom of the nose has a chip-like shape. And it follows along this shape and basically this shape. So it's like a bird flying, like, like that kind of thing. And that's shaded because under this curve. We have our, our nostrils that follow the shape of the bird. But in here you can see this light source, like there's, there's a light area there. You can always fix it. Leave that area for the, for the, op for the opening of the light. So here is lighter. And it's a bit too heavy, a bit too dark. Everything's kind of shaded, but around here is more dark because the light is hitting. It's a big like shadow shape underneath this circle here. You can see for yourself and look at the differences in the values between it. And if you always try to make yourself into that pressure, trying to make it perfect, it's never going to turn out well. Just play with it, have fun and practice. And this line there. Just to direct you, so this line goes like that, and that's where the lips would start evolving. So, for the difference between this shape and this shape, you can kind of you can kind of see the circular form. Here's dark compared to this area. Follow the shape of the circle, so like lightly, just go like this into that curvy slope, and then lightly let go on the page. Same for this big circle as well. Look at the shape. So, see, here's very light, but there's very bright. So very light. I made mine a bit dark so you can see it better. So don't just go like this. I mean, I mean that actually still is good, but you want to follow it. So follow along here, then follow along here, then follow along here, then follow along here. It's like different angles. You keep going, you keep going to create a circle. It's kind of like that. And it's never always white. All this is still like kind of pencil, but around here is kind of the focal point. It's more brighter around here as well. But it's a little bit shaded. And of course, Around here, the eyes start forming and it's a bit dark, so you want to create that some contrast, some juxtaposition. Shade, shade, and there your forehead starts as well. 